In this lesson, we're going to model a proposed utility, including a trench. We're going to use the extract utilities from graphics command as we have in the past three lessons. So I want to use the selection method because I'm only doing the one water line, which is the center line represented by this heavy blue line. I've set my feature definition and my size. I'll use the selection method. And I'm going to start with just a guess of putting the uh, water line three feet under the existing ground. And I do want to model a trench this time. So it's modeling our water line. And it's modeling our trench. And if we look at the 3D model, we can see that we do have a trench that uh, follows our water line. And we'll also notice that the uh, water line uh, is uh, coming above the future uh, cut slope of this roadway. And so this is our road design here. And we need to adjust our profile to get underneath of that uh, future cut slope. First, I'm going to look at a cross-section view of the uh, uh, based off the center line. So, from my road center line, I'm just going to look at some quick cross sections, uh, and I'll look at those in view eight. And so, at this particular station, then we can see uh, even more clearly than the 3D how that uh, our water line is jumping above the future cut slope. And so, we need to adjust our profile for that. So, if I then open the profile of the water line, I want to see this cut slope in my profile. And so, I'll use one of the profile commands for that. And so, now we can see. Here is the future cut slope that I need to get under. So using uh, the profile by BPI command, I'm going to quickly put in a, a new profile for the water line using whatever care is justified to get a good design. In this case, I'm just doing something quick. And so I'll do something like that. And that will be my proposed profile. I'll select that and make it the active profile. And we should see our 3D model update. And then we also see in our cross sections that we're now safely underneath the future cut slope. I want to make one more edit uh, to this, uh, this waterline design. If I look at the end of this relocation, uh, we can see this more clearly, is that um, we want to adjust the trench to better match our, our waterline. And this uh, trench was designed, and you can see this uh, more clearly in wireframe, you can see that the, the trench uh, and the opening for the pipe was designed for an assumed size of pipe, and our pipe is bigger. Since we're using a roadway uh, corridor model uh, to model this trench, uh, then we have access to uh, the open roads tools, uh, which one of those is the ability to assign parametric constraints. And I've set one up for the pipe diameter, uh, which I can adjust now to one foot instead of six inches. And then when we do that, then our trench updates. Both the opening for the pipe gets larger and the width of the trench gets larger to accommodate the bigger size pipe. 